Uh, there is a illegal Buddhist vihare that has been built. And I say it is illegal because it is built on private land. It amounts to 120 parappa, which works out to about between 7.5 acres to uh, 8 acres of land. Uh, these are deed lands uh, belonging to 15 families. And uh, this matter, when we first heard that the military had laid the uh, foundation stone with uh, the current uh, Shavendra Silva at that time going to the north two years ago, in 2021, at the District Coordinating Committee meeting, Honorable Presiding Member, the Honorable Selvraja Gajendran and myself took it up. At that time, the, the chairman of the committee was uh, the Honorable Angajan Ramanathan. He was in government. And uh, when we brought this matter up, he tried to resist. But eventually, he gave in and he assured uh, the Jaffna district members of parliament uh, that this illegal uh, attempt to build a vihare on private land will be halted and a full inquiry will, be, will take place. And despite those assurances, this vihare was built. And it is on that basis that uh, uh, colleagues of mine along with the people of the area and the families that have been affected uh, started protesting on the 23rd. Uh, and at that uh, instant, the police assaulted the Honorable Selvraja Gajendran. These are documented. There are videos that are circulating in the social media and in the mainstream media. The newspapers have also carried it. And without proceeding to arrest the Honorable Selvraja Gajendran, because it was a parliamentary sitting week, uh, the police would have got advice that it would have been a direct breach of privilege. Uh, they chose to instead arrest nine, uh, nine individuals that included an att uh, attorney at law, uh, Mr. Sugash, uh, and were only released yesterday uh, through court. And the court, in fact, has asked the police uh, superiors in the northern province to carry out an investigation and an inquiry into the OIC of, uh, of Palali for having behaved in the way he did. Uh, we are, I am reliably informed that that OIC is uh, under suspicion of several fraud cases and also a murder case. So these are the circumstances, Honorable Presiding Member, uh, where the Honorable Selvraja Gajendran and nine of our colleagues <coughs> were illeg illegally, uh, unlawfully assaulted uh, uh, in broad daylight. Now, sir, what is more important uh, is the actions of the police. We are told that the police are here to safeguard our interests. The actions of the police, they have gone and got a, they have gone and got a 106, section 106 criminal procedure court order, which is to uh, prevent, uh, prevent an imminent nuisance from taking place. So what is this nuisance, honorable presiding member? The police have gone and got an order to protect an illegal Buddhist vihare that has been built on private land in breach of people's ownership of that private land without even telling court that it is under these circumstances that that vihare was built, have gone and got an order and the police are looking after the interest of an illegality and when the public and honorable members of this house go to protest against that illegality, those individuals are arrested, those individuals are assaulted. These are the people that the honorable members opposite, who belong to the government and the president, asking the Tamil people to repose confidence in when it comes to investigations with regards to wrongs that have been done to us. This is what is happening, Honorable Presiding Member. It is an utter disgrace. The Honorable, uh, uh, the Honorable Tenakun, who spoke uh, before me, mentioned with regards to the economic crisis, the, the, the cornerstone reason for the economic crisis is because of uh, over 50 years of legacy of bad ethnic relations, 
resulting in various armed insurrections, armed struggles, etc., etc. But what are the cause for that? The cause for that was fundamentally one community that numerically was largest choosing to usurp the powers of state for itself and completely disenfranchise those others who are equally, rightfully, owners of this country. So you chose to behave in that way, people can't just sit and watch. And when people react, you call that a bad reaction that led to the crisis that this country is facing. Well, here after the crisis has happened today, whilst you, your own very government is overseeing through its military illegal acts, illegal acts that disenfranchise the Tamil people in their own areas because of your own racist policies. Hold on, remember, you have two more minutes. Policies. And then you sit here, and you sit here and you make a speech saying, do you want to repeat the last 75 years of mistakes? You will repeat it. You will repeat it. Because you have learned nothing. And because you have learned nothing, this country will never get off on its own feet. You will go for the next 75 years, continue to go with begging bowls, sell everything that this country can claim that it owns to outsiders. That is the path that you will take. Because you rather get a commission and watch out for your own family than look after the interests of the people who get you elected. So therefore, Honorable Presiding Member, I would like to urge that you refer this matter to the Speaker. It is a serious offence. It is an offence committed by the police. It is an offence committed by the police that have lied to a court of law, that have hidden to the Honorable Magistrate material facts in order to get this stay order, in order to get this uh, order, 106 order. And therefore you must refer this matter to the Speaker and have this matter looked into and a full inquiry uh, uh, asked for. Thank you, sir. Thank you.